Hello and welcome to Catfish Trash Talk. This is episode 85. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, comedian Noelle Winters H. Hello. Hi. I like to change your name. I like to change your title. It's just a fun game that I play. I see that. It's a little things. It's like the Simpsons, right? When they started, you remember they always used to do like a weird wacky thing on the couch. Yes. Yeah. That's how I feel like when we start our podcast. Okay. I'm the weird wacky couch. You're the weird wacky couch. Um, Catfish, the television show, season eight, episode 74. Come on, guys. Mother Wolf and David. Mother Wolf. I don't even know what I just watched. Okay. I have so many thoughts. By the way, guys, my COVID test is naggy i mean i could have told you that i was waiting for it to mature mature tracy's funny is it not that it's funny to get covid but like you could have like a hangnail and you're like i got covid this time Mm -hmm. and And i'm like like, this is it this is the real one right and i'm like it's not though it is it is Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -uh. yes my hair was naughty before and i was like well here it is this is the symptoms. Yeah. Um. My hair, my this ponytail is so tight. I can't even explain. <laughs> that's, to you. that's COVID. This is um, a COVID tale. <laughs> Noel, Mother Wolf and David. Mm-hmm. If you guys, I told more, you this is going to be a good one. <laughs> if you guys want to hear more about our uh, symptoms, go to patreoncom slash talk podcast and you will find our bonus podcast BS. Also, remember something. We have two other podcasts, Teen Mom Trash Talk, 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk, completely free everywhere you get podcasts. No, well, don't we on. This is not boring. No, you're not boring. It's the nighttime. That's all. This is very late. The nighttime is the right time. The wrong time. It is I'm in my time. robe now. I know. I was <laughs> thinking about it, too. I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I need to work from like one to two. Me, too. That's I'm it. also freezing to death. I am freezing oh, to cold. death. The wind is outrageous in New York City tonight. Yes, it's so fucking yeah, cold in it's here. It's so cold. That might be another symptom. Um, <laughs> when it gets windy. Um, mm-hmm. No cami. No cami. Don't worry, because we have Dylan Sprayberry. This is not a real person, right? No, he's on Carmen San Diego. This guy. This Dylan is not Sprayberry. This is not a real person. This is definitely. A character, if you will. Yes, I would. You know what? Good foreshadowing, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so he was on Teen Wolf, was he? And he's and he's like, oh, you have as much chest hair as us. And this is how you know he's a great actor. Because he has chest hair. Because he overreacts to everything. Yeah. I'm like, wow, what a mm-hmm. drama man. This is great. So they get a email from Mother Wolf PA. Her name I is have, June. Uh, she would belong in one of my friend's families. I'm not going to say who, but you know. Oh, who. I know exactly who yeah. you're comparing her to. Thank you very much. That was all you had to say was that. And I know yes. exactly who you're talking uh-huh. about. Um, So Mother Wolf PA, her name is June. She's 53 years old. She's a freelance dog sitter. Me too, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> She's a freelance dog sitter as opposed to the union dog sitters. <laughs> She's not freelance. unionized. She's freelance. Mm-hmm. Um, she has five kids, nine grandkids. And she met David, who lives in Orlando, 20 years ago in an AOL chat room. And his name was Warlock. Mm-hmm. And his voice drove her wild. She couldn't take it. It was deep and husky. She loves that. That was husky. my nickname in high school. That was your nickname? <laughs> deep and husky. Oh, God. It was, it, that was you and your boyfriend. There they come again. <laughs> deep and husky. They won prom king and queen deep and husky. (laughs) So she is a solitary witch at first, and then she became a Satanist. So a solitary witch, is that like a freelance witch? Uh, Maybe along with dog sitter. A lot of freelancing here. A lot of freelancing. Um, Now she's a Satanist. She said that she would speak his name on the night winds. Sure. Duh. Right. Obviously. Obviously. Dylan couldn't get a haircut, huh? No. Uh Uh-uh. They're like, you're hosting catfish. And he's like, yeah, this will do. Typical. Though. Did they wake him up and tell him? They woke him from a slumber. Yeah. And he's <laughs> like, all right, let's do it right now. Okay. They want to know how she got the name Mother Wolf. Yes. It's easy. So her ex-brother-in-law had a coven. It was a small coven. You says coven. You always say coven. <laughs> it is. I was, like, coven. They, I was like, why are they saying coven? They can't even say coven, right? I was waiting for you to say coven. That made me LOL. I hope they don't get COVID. Oh, I was waiting for it. Yeah, but it. it's a small COVID. Mm-hmm. A small one, a COVID. <laughs> Roosevelt Field. 
What am I going to do with you? Hello. Hello. Why are you like what? this? Oh, that's huge. What am I going to do with you? You don't even say H's. I don't believe in them. No, I see that. They're against your Satanism. Okay. Ask me who made the first car. Who made the first car? Henry Ford. Right. Tracy, H's what am I going to do with you? H's are silent. They are. Uh, this is too late. This is too late. You're right. This is too late to. No, it, I mean, it's 1030. <laughs> Stop. Goodbye. R.I.P. me. Uh, she's in New York, PA. That's the home of my favorite bookstore. That's right. It is the home of yeah. my favorite bookstore. This has to be an Airbnb. There's no way that a witch dog sitter, freelance union or otherwise lives in this home. That was my first thought. I'm like, no chance is no this way. her house. No way. She definitely has like a, a skull opening. She has like a live painting of Satan. You know whose house she lives in? Probably like De what's Debbie's boyfriend's name in Canada? That oh, she my lives God. With? The house Tony. is like that. Yeah. She lives she in Tony's house. 100%. She yes. has gerbils, like, like yeah. <laughs> sacrifice skinned and taped to the wall. Yes. And they're all dusty. Uh-huh. It's the like you can't dust. even. Dressers you can't even, in the hallway. You can't even dust your hamster skulls. You can't even dust your, uh, I can't, I forgot the word for it. Tell me it. what you were it's trying over. to say. You know, the thing I wear on my neck is my grandmother wore it on her neck. Oh, the um, Satan thing? <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother wore one uh, okay, this I'm lady's it. wearing one uh hold on one second um, it's like the thing the pentagram the pentagram <laughs> that's where the president lives oh the well pentagram. near oh. near where he lives no right okay close to it <laughs> that's near the the white house okay. the pentagram okay that's good that's good what and you say I'm not smart? No, you were. I was right when Noelle, I said that. Uh -huh. What did I? What was my GPA when I graduated college? Yeah, four point oh. That's what right. Was it in high school. <laughs> Noel, I got a scholarship to high school. Uh huh. I know. I was there. I remember when you called Fran. Because you don't believe me. You don't believe that I'm smart, and you don't believe that the president lives right by the pentagram. I actually don't believe that. J.K. Guys, I'm not that. I stupid. don't believe it. Uh -uh. Oh my god! All right. Well, she um. <laughs> <laughs> she was uh she she was a baptist a southern a religious southern right conservative baptist for 30 plus years mm -hmm. uh but then she started practicing solitary non-union witchcraft right <laughs> freelance witchcraft freelance right? witchcraft <laughs> um but then her mom died and he actually um david didn't answer the phone so she called out to him and they were like can you show us how you do that and she's like oh <laughs> oh you just open the window Guess what? I didn't even hear you do that. Really? Oh, yeah. Wait. You did your pitch. Okay, you I'll do it lower. Ooh. Okay. okay, I heard that. Okay, that was just okay, a scary good. ghost. I don't yeah, think it was, it was a, a ghost. You <laughs> <laughs> oh. opened the window and did that. Mm -hmm. I have, okay. I never Call out the window. I don't, <laughs> it's your project. Noel. Mm -hmm. I never think, I don't think I ever told, I don't know if I ever told you this. Maybe I haven't told you this. I don't know. What? So, um, you know where I park my car on that block, right? Uh huh. So that's where my window face is. Mm -hmm. And there's houses across there. Okay. There's someone who's not well that lives in one of those houses. Uh-huh. And they scream to the top of their lungs in Italian all day long. Uh-huh. But it sounds like a demon. Uh-huh. Do you think they're just speaking something into the wind? And they're speaking in tongues. Do you think the they're wind? leaving a voicemail for David? Probably, yes. That's funny. In Cheap Side Bay, I had the same thing. Really? The house in back of me. Yeah. The first floor. There yeah. was someone who was not well, uh -huh. who sat at the window all day, yeah. screaming at the top of their lungs yes. all day, every day. My mother does an impression of it. Okay. This is what mine sounds like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's like very scary. Like the Tasmanian <laughs> devil. No, my mine went. Oh, oh, that's scarier. I think. Oh, yeah, it was very yeah. scary. More They're like both a... pretty scary. <laughs> if we're comparing scaries, yeah, well, I don't love listen. it. I used to wake me up every day. I'm like, oh no, okay, she only does a window. She only does it during the day. Very deep voice for a woman too, the Tasmanian devil. But hey, I don't judge. Hey, 
So she used to holla out the window at the Project Info. Uh huh. Um, so she hollered one day when her mom died because right. he did not answer the phone, and uh, he called her in thirty minutes. He's like, "Hey, you called? You, you rang? A, you left a windmill? Because I heard it. I picked up your. Did wind. you do a howl? Oh, good thing you knew what street I lived on. Uh huh. That's right, Stonebridge Lane. So she met him in uh, the virtual magic chat room. Right. And they used to talk on the phone. And mm-hmm. she had had several relationships, but they all knew about him. And even if they gave her an ultimatum, she would have said, you can, you know where the door is. Don't let it hit your ass on the way out. I was going to say, don't let it hit you where the good Lord split you, honey. That's right. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye forever. You know, you know what I want. <laughs> um, so she forgot his address, but knows the street. Right. Now, she's also spoken on the phone with Dee Dee, the mother of his son, mm-hmm. and she became friends with her, too, because they share a house together. Yeah, because, you know, for the kids. Yeah. Um, he sent her pictures. Now, these pictures. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't tell if this is Vince Neal mm-hmm. or Richie Sambora. OK, right. Or a combination of the two. I'm like, what is this? This is someone who is... How could you be the catfish? How could you be catfishing like this? How could you do this? That that was wild. I'm like, this can't be a catfish. There's no way. This was um, definitely someone that I used to know. Like, that's how I feel. I feel. I'm like, oh, I I know that you. I'm like, I know this man. You used to work with them at a record label. I toured Uh with these guys. That's so. That was like the first thing I thought too. He sent her the pictures and said, shh. Just because um, she guesses like she didn't want he didn't want her to show anyone his hot, sexy. Right. I see. I didn't understand that. He's like, I don't want to say anything, but I am on a television show and it's called um, Rock of Love. Uh huh. Right. And uh, my name is Sebastian. My, my name is Brett Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the other guy? Sebastian from. Bach. What is he? Sebastian yeah. Bach. Sebastian Bach. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. That's why I keep calling this woman Stefan Wolf, right? This is why in my head I keep okay. calling her Stefan Wolf. So the whole time I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, my God, it's like that band that I really like, Wolf Mother. <laughs> and they do um, they do a cover <laughs> of T-Rex. Do you know about this? Mm-mm. Listen here, Wolf Child. I love TV and I love T-Rex. I could see through your eye. I got X-ray specs. Came through your hunt like a 747. I'm so glad that we have different taste in music. That's me. Because oh, I'm, I I'm a love. I'm a prime. Prime mover. Maybe. Oh, I don't think that was Wolf Mother. Never mind. Well, definitely okay. not. See Wolf, Mother's a, <laughs> Wolf Mother's a different band. Oh, God. Just kidding, guys. Is that Daddy <laughs> Long Legs? <laughs> I hate you so much. All right, well, whatever. Oh. Listen here, wolf child. Yes, I'm here. Okay. She doesn't care if he's the guy in the pictures. She doesn't care. She definitely doesn't care. She so doesn't. They go to Black Cat Cafe, and at this time when I'm watching this, I start mm-hmm. sneezing on my couch, and I'm like, my hand to Jesus. Yeah. I started sneezing during this. My and hand I'm like, to Satan. I'm like, I'm allergic. My hand, to fr- my hand to freelance and union Satan. Okay, remember you said that tonight. <laughs> remember. I was sneezing. I was like, is the are the cats? No, coming me too. Through? I'm like, are they on my screen? Are they in my house? Well, anyway. They look for Richie Sambora on right. Facebook <laughs> and they find David Derringer. And there's right. not a lot on his Facebook. It looks pretty fake. 64 friends. Find they find one that lives in Orlando, 46 with a street. So they image search uh Richie Sambora. <laughs> And they find sexy Rexy, the real estate agent. <laughs> and then if you look at the other picture, you're like, yeah, I guess that real estate agent. Yes. Like, I, I could see why this guy used those pictures. Me too. Because yes. it's like a better version. Yes, they're similar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She takes out her glasses. Mm-hmm. With a little electrical tape on it. Oh, I saw. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, man, that's great. That's why I'm like, I know this isn't your house. You know? Like, I just know. I know. I know. Mm-hmm. Because she was just aloof. Yes. She was like, yeah, this is uh huh. This is fine. This is this fine. Is fine. Television. Uh-huh. I don't care. He seems disappointed. 
definitely disappointed yes but like okay. more than disappointed she's pretty upset right so she sends him a facebook message and he's facebook calling her so she starts right hyperventilating this which seems to be her she's, favorite she's like shaking she's trembling yeah he's like why would you go through catfish and he's like can i think about it so neve jumps in and he hangs up and he's like goodbye and uh she's very distressed she's crying she's like i can tell he's mad well, they go to Orlando anyway. I like that Neve is like, I'm not dealing with this. Like, I'm taking you to Orlando. Right? Mm -hmm. So they go to Orlando and they're going to just show up at his house. So they message him. They're like, by the way, we yeah. have your address and we're coming there. So hide. Right. And I don't even think he answers back. Mm -mm. So she messages him and he leaves her on red. Right. They pull up to the blue house and someone. Neve answers. is dressed like a fuck boy. Did you notice okay. that? Neve has a hoop earring. I liked it. With a stud. Mm -hmm. I'm like, did someone style his lobes? I know. I like it. And he has on these, uh, a black t-shirt, gray sweatpants. I know. I was like, what is happening here? Yeah. I'm like, I like this look. One episode away from Laura and he's going nuts. I know. I like it. Also, Dylan Sweetwater or whatever the hell his name is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's a heartthrob. Not to me. He's not. But he's holding her, which is adorable. That was kind of cute. That was nice. So, also, he added nothing to this episode. Yeah, I mean, Neve did this episode alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. It's so... like when I podcast, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he was he was definitely a co-co-co junior pilot. Yes. He definitely yeah. junior pilot. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't have his license yet. He doesn't uh -huh. have his hours in. So, they pull up to this blue house, and someone answers the door. Um, it is a person wearing a wig that was... Um, was also cut by Mahogany from 90 Day Fiance's wig cutter. Yes. No, and Kale's lawyer on season two of Teen Mom. But it's confusing to me. Yes. You cut the wig? I don't know. I was confused. Was it growing? When this person Did came out. Did you have to trim your wig because it got too long? Yes. Maybe they just wanted a different look. You, you see, no, what I bet you happened is they tried to style it with heat and it burned. Okay, so maybe take it to a thing to like blend it. Blue, take it to a thing, blend it. Boo. I was very confused. There's a place not far from my house. I live in a mm -hmm. Jewish neighborhood, and it scares me sometimes. I'm going to tell you because there's these salons that uh -huh. style the wigs yeah. on mannequins. But sometimes I forget about it, and when I'm walking by, I get a little spooked. I could see that. I'm like, oh, that's not it's a person Nicole at from all. 90 Day. That's not a person at all. <laughs> it's just Nicole. Just yep, a white just a bunch of styrofoam Nicoles. head. Yep. Terrifying. Um, so David, this is David. This is David. Okay. I don't know what's happening. I LOL'd at this whole scene because I'm like, I'm so confused and uncomfortable. Like, I don't know what's happening. But she's fine with it. Okay. I was kind of like upset about that because it's like, I don't even think, are you that desperate but yes. are you that desperate yes because you don't even really seem that desperate she's wolf howling about it listen but she's wolf howling screaming into the night like i got it but like i don't know she doesn't seem all that desperate that's what surprised me all right well um david tells yeah. wolf mother june that she looks nice and she says quote you don't look so bad yourself i think that is untrue that is a lie you look bad yourself <laughs> yeah Everyone looks bad. I don't know what's happening here. Uh, so well, that's the thing. I'm confused. They ask David because I don't mm -hmm. know what to call anyone. David. David says they have each other's heart. Okay. Well, they ask David if David has a phone and David says, quote, I don't really use my phone like that. Like what? For phones? Yeah. For phoning. For talking? Uh-huh. I don't use my phone for phoning. Well, they get June a chair. Right. She's and had enough. And he said that there's a lot of lies, but nothing he said was a lie. Right. There's a lot of stuff, but everything David said is true. Right. So he's not David, but he's Denise. And he role plays David. Uh, quote, David loves June 100%, says David. But then the Denise voice, like it threw me for a loop. Okay. So June, when David says that David loves June 100%, June's like, oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Check like, out. Me too. Right. Right. So he goes in and out of these voices and June's like, oh, this is fun. It's a fun game. Yeah, I love June's this like, game. whatever. As long as like everyone likes me. Right. Cool. So 
David slash Denise is like, look at her. She's beautiful. Yeah. So she wants to know who's she's like, all right, the next day, I have a lot of questions to ask. You're right. I need to know who's more dominant. Right. Who's in control of this situation? Denise or David? What? That's your question? Well, because she wants to know because she knows that Denise doesn't like women. That's your question? Of course, that's her question. What would your question have been? A hundred of them. I have a (laughs) hundred of them that are none and none of them are that. No, none have been answered at all. My question is, um, what do you mean? (laughs) What? That's my question. Um, My second question is how? Right. My third question is why? Why? Yeah. Uh, Where? Mm-hmm. Donde esta? Ooh. Right. What is yeah. happening though? What is happening? Um uh were you do you identify as a male or a female? Right. Are I you, don't think they know. Sure. I guess like it's rude to ask a lot of questions that I had. Sure. Oh, but can I say the rude questions that I would have? Yeah, I would of course. ask like not that I would ask because I wouldn't want to ask, but like right. these are the things that I'm curious about. Were you born male or female? Yes. Were you assigned male or female at birth? Do you identify as male or female? Yes. Um, do you identify as is Denise like when you say a role play character, do you mean like when Noel and Matt dress up as like firemen and the lady on fire? Right. Oh, save me. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. or is uh-huh. it like do you have split personalities? Do you have um, those things, those personality disorders where people come in and out? Because I, I, I think she, Denise seems to be more in control of that. Like, I don't I, th- I think she can control who comes in and out. Right. But I've seen on TikTok like these people with these disorders where where there's like actually like you watch them have a switch. Yeah, no, I watched this whole series on a Tony Collette played someone just like this. It was right. very good, but they can't control Right, but it, or is it out. like when I pretend that you know what I'm saying? Like, wh- like when I pretend I'm Babs on TV. Yeah, I think that's talk, what like, it is. Like, I don't understand. It seems to be like okay, like I'm Noel. Is this like a fun game? Is this like when um, Noel dresses up like an anime girl? I didn't know that I did that. Uh-huh. But yeah, no, because you're not. It's just I'm not aware of it. Uh-huh. Well, that's the thing. I think Denise is totally aware of it and in control of it. Okay, but we mm-hmm. find out a little bit more. Yeah. Uh so uh Denise. <laughs> oh god. I think um, Denise, I think I'm just gonna say this. I think Denise was assigned female at birth. I'm not sure, but I think so. Okay, well, Denise wears a different wig the next day. Yes. And Denise said she's just playing a part in a movie. And Her own movie. June is like, well, I have a movie too. And it's called uh, The Lady Mother Wolf with Double Glasses. Because <laughs> my actual eyes are on the top of my head. <laughs> she's like, these are my um, my god eyes, my witch eyes. They're on the top of my oh, head. Oh, my witch eyes. Yeah, and they the, the sun just beats right down on them. So I wear my sunglasses <laughs> on my head, my glasses on my... So she said, now this actually makes sense. Uh huh. So Denise is like, I was on AOL. Men mm-hmm. would like try to send me D pics. She's like, so right. I made my profile male so that men wouldn't harass me. Right. Okay, fine. Denise says she doesn't see the sense in keeping David around. And this is, I'm like, so you've had David for 20 years. But you've had David. What does that mean? What does that mean? You're pretending like, when people catfish people, usually they're like, yeah, I know I'm not that person. Right. I pretended to be this person so they would like me. She's not saying that. Right. But like, she didn't just come up with Dave like on the spot for this right. reason. Obviously, there's something happening under the something surface. Something happening. Yeah. There's an under the surface happening for yes. sure. So, um, Denise like, I don't said, think that Denise could say that she's attracted to women. So she had to come up with a character that was. Okay. Well, let me tell you, June is now visibly upset. And yes. It's because Denise doesn't want to date her. Mm-hmm. She's like, wait a minute. What's happening here? So right. now she also is like, oh, and by the way, when you were talking to Dee, Dee it was me. It's like, yeah, I knew. Why did we even have to discuss that? Because she was, she wanted you to know that Dee Dee's different than Denise. Uh, and, and there's so many, there's Marquis, so the, there's Leo, Simon, Gavin, Denise uh-huh. and Marquis. So they're like, wait a minute. 
right. you're not even Denise. Right. She's like, no, Denise is one of my characters. They won't say their name. Right. And then they leave. Right. So it's kind of like, can we just say like who the number one person in the group is? Denise is the number one person in the group, but there's not. Do you see what I'm saying? Like there's not. I don't know what's happening. But that's what I'm saying. This is why I was giggling uncomfortably throughout this whole mm-hmm. thing. Because I don't even and know everyone's if I like, believe oh. this. Right. Well, um, June feels empty. Right. And she feels like a shell of a person. But don't worry, because we got a two-month checkup. Let's talk about it. Two-month checkup. Uh, her and David still talk every single day. Mm-hmm. David saw her walk out that door. Mm-hmm. Too much for him. She wants him back. He wants her back. Mm -hmm. Uh, Is she doing this interview from prison? Yes. There's a bunk bed. Mm -hmm. There's a wire bunk bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's just her role. Mm -hmm. (laughs) She's just uh, role playing. She's inmate number four. Uh Uh-huh. That's her role today. She's doing Mm -hmm. a bang up job. So now. David comes on the screen with wig number one, the choppy yes. chop. Yes. They are together now as a couple. Like in real life and virtually. And now he's David and wants to be with her forever and will be David as long as he could be with her forever. Right. So everyone else is out the door. Denise is gone. Dee Dee's dead. Leo's Gavin? dead. Gavin? No one. Bye-bye, Marky. Bertha? <laughs> Bertha's away. But I... What do you Marquee. think this is? I would love if she was like, actually, Marquis moved to Arizona. Right. And then here's another wig. <laughs> but what is this? No way to know. They don't ask any questions. But do you see what I'm saying? They don't ask. It. I mean, like, obviously, this is just someone who's mentally ill. Well, uh huh. Don't judge. Don't I judge. mean, <laughs> that's Listen. not judging, that's stating a you fact. Know, you know how I know how? that this person is mentally ill? Oh. Uh, I saw their wig cut. Uh huh. They thought their wig was growing. Uh huh. Cut it. Yes. That's yes. how I know. They gave themselves a haircut on their wig. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna agree with that. Mm-hmm. Also, that's all, that's we were led to, to believe that that was Denise's house, that Airbnb. She's like, that's where I get mail here. Dave gets mail here. Okay. What? Um. Why didn't we go inside? Why did we have to sit in the driveway in a folding chair? Right. Why did she it's have to sit in a freaking folding chair? It was like a hundred. I would need a folding chair. We would all need a folding chair. Yeah, I'd be sitting at, like on I would the like, car or something. I would be like, do you have a folding couch? Right. Do you have a blanket I could just throw on this asphalt? A picnic asphalt something. blanket? <laughs> Yum. Do you have a <laughs> one of those blankets that they put on marathon runners? Yes. I need something here. So I could fry like a piece of bacon in the driveway. I don't know. Like, I don't understand. I want to know more. I'm going to have to. I don't think I'm going to be able to find them. I'm going to have to look them up. I don't think that they're going to post anything new because because the season just came out. I think we should call no more in general. You know how we find out. How? Honestly, after watching this 911. 911 probably (laughs) knows. You Uh need to call 911. That's the only one you have to call after this. Yeah. But on who, Denise? I think this is a typical Florida thing, to be honest. Sorry, guys that live in Florida. We have sorry, Florida, Florida, Florida friends. We love you. Guys Orlando so specifically. Sorry Orlando specific. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. I you mean, know, guys. Okay, Orlando fans. Mm. Tell How us many, what do you think? Have you met Marquis? Have you met Gavin? Where's Leo? Donde está Leo? Yeah, donde está? What do you think? Is this a typical thing? Yo no sé. I need to go to this. I need to go to York. I need to find Mama Wolf, Stefan Wolf. Wolfgang von Garish. <laughs> Wolfgang Puck. <sighs> oh, I need God. to find the coven of their brother-in-law. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm never going to get over you saying coven. I can't believe that you don't <laughs> say that. Because it's not a word. <laughs> Whatever. You're so stupid. Okay. This was... Definitely an enjoyable episode of Catfish, I must say. No, it was, but what do you mean? Right, but what happened? I don't understand it. I still don't understand it. I think that everyone's just confused. Oh, really? You think so? Yeah, everyone just feels silly. I wonder if she still howls at the window for him. How do you think they communicate? He doesn't really use his phone like that. Well, that's true. He doesn't. Shut up. 
I hope that you're enjoying this episode. Everyone. I am. <laughs> I had a great time. Make sure you're following us on TikTok, Trash Talk Podcast on TikTok, Catfish Trash Talk on Instagram. Noelle's at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm at Trixie Tuzini. You can find everything podcast related at TracyCarnazzo.com, including our Patreon at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast, where you can find all of our bonus episodes. We just did some math. We've done over a thousand episodes between Catfish Trash Talk, Teen Mom mm-hmm. Trash Talk, 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk, and all of the episodes on our Patreon. So go check it out. Uh, TracyCarnazzo.com. Give us a five star rating and an amazing review on anything you listen to us on. And make sure you join us on YouTube if you're only listening on audio because this episode comes out on YouTube before it comes out on audio. That's right. Thank you so much. Have a nice day and please drive up. I was just going to say, please drive up. Hasta luego. Bye.